Welcome Wayfinders, it's Hass here and in this video I'll introduce and go through every single weapon in the game at least at the launch of Early Access of Wayfinder. Huge thanks to Airship Syndicate for allowing me to test the game and record all this footage so I can show it off to you all. If you're interested in more Wayfinder content, check out the rest of the channel, but in this video I'll introduce all four weapon categories, what they do and what their abilities are, and then also showcase every single weapon that you can currently unlock and play with. So with that said, let's get started. First, let's take a look at the sword and shield weapons. These weapons' unique mechanic is based around their ability to block with a shield, and they're able to follow up immediately with a block counter, as they call it, which is your action required to build up your pip towards your weapon skills. The first sword and shield is Vanguard, Wingrave's starting weapon, a standard decent looking sword and shield with a skill Power Bash. Power Bash is a powerful shield bash animation that primarily deals massive amounts of break damage to your opponents, making it stronger with each pip consumed. Next is my favorite sword and shield so far, Radiant Dawn, a very Templar-esque weapon fitting for a holy theme, and its ability Archon's Blade is a super cool overcharge ability, making Radiant Dawn empowered with Radiant Energy, increasing the damage and range of your sword, and also strengthening your shield to reduce the incoming stamina damage while blocking. Tooth and Claw is another very cool looking sword and shield with a very fitting ability called Shredder Toss, which will basically throw your shield towards enemies, making it bounce between them for additional damage that also scales with the amount of pips you have. Finally, it's Grim Harvest, with the Bone Geyser weapon skill that acts like a giant ground slam ability, staggering even the heaviest armored opponents around you, once again, scaling with the amount of pips you have. Our next category of weapons is Dual Blades, and these weapons are a bit more complicated than the others, as instead of your meter building up your pips, it's through chaining four attacks together that builds your pip up, allowing you to perform a heavy attack combo finisher, depending on the amount of pips you have, and contributing towards your blade dance meter, which is mixed together with your weapon skill and acts as a double damage aura for a duration. Instead of blocking, they have parry, which is a time defensive move that you can follow up with a parry attack if you timed it correctly. The first dual blades is Harvest Moon, a weapon based around the duality of light and darkness, and its weapon skill Light and Shadow will cast a sigil on the ground, assigning light or shadow element to both enemies and allies, and your allies will deal bonus damage to enemies of the opposite alignment. You on the other hand will get both light and shadow, giving you a constant damage bonus. Next one is Knight's Edge, Nissa's signature weapon with a daggerful weapon skill that will summon floating daggers around you upon activation that will seek out enemies close to you for quite a lot of damage. Rose and Thorn, our next dual blades, features the Thorn Blossom weapon skill that will cast shooting thorns up from the ground around you, inflicting enemies with the Rose Blossom for 10 seconds, and hitting these enemies will deal additional damage each time they are hit with your weapons. Next, Slicer and Dicer is a very crude looking dual blade set it has a very simple weapon skill of you spinning and throwing daggers around you in all directions to deal damage. Last, it is Venom, a poisonous twin dagger with Viper Sting, the weapon skill that will imbue your daggers with poison element that will stack on enemies all the way up to 10 times and deal additional damage over time. Two-handed weapons are also categorized as one, so you have all the two-handed swords, axes and the future hammers together in a category, and their unique mechanic is called the Momentum Bar, that builds up as you keep attacking, especially with heavy attacks, and the more momentum you have, the less break damage you take to keep going on without getting interrupted during your attacks. They can also block like shields, just less effectively for more stamina, and instead they can also perform a tackle ability while blocking, like in the Monster Hunter games that will reduce your damage taken with a good timing. Our first two-hander is Colossus, a giant electric sword that can perform Gladiator Slice, for an increased 20% ability power buff for your next Wayfinder ability within 3 seconds, with also an empowered follow-up attacks if you continue to spend your momentum for the next two hits. Eclipse on the other hand is a two-handed axe with a steel vortex weapon skill that throws your axe in front of you, dealing damage multiple times to enemies before returning, with its damage scaling with the amount of momentum you spend. Kairos' signature weapon, the Scythe Epitaph, is also here and its weapon skill is Arcane Harvest that slashes out in front of you to deal damage and steal ability power for yourself, which becomes better with the more momentum you use, making it great for ability power builds. Then we have Titan's Bane, everyone's favorite during the test I was part of, a giant molten greatsword with the Molten Cleave weapon ability that creates these lava fissures in front of you bursting from the ground dealing heavy damage to all enemies that stay on them for the duration of the burning. 
Finally, here it is, Typhoon, a normal looking giant X that can use its weapon skill to shatter the ground using all of your momentum, increasing the damage enemies take from you by up to 30%, depending on the momentum charges for the next 10 seconds. Now our final category is for rifles, and they are also quite special as instead of blocking or parrying, they have two unique abilities apart from the option to aim down the sight. The first is Hotspot Reload, which is a little QTE during reloading that immediately reloads your weapon on success and gives you a short timed buff depending on your chosen weapon, like increased damage or increased attack speed. Our second unique weapon ability is Eagle Eye, which you can see as a yellow bar next to your reticle, and as you shoot enemies you increase a chance for a weak spot to appear on an enemy that you can hit for bonus damage, and also for a single charge of Locked and Loaded, which is how your weapon skill pips are called. Our first rifle is called Arcstorm, a special plasma projector that fires very slow but powerful energy blasts, and its ability Arc Beam is a single powerful blast dealing damage in a line, ignoring armor and all defenses of enemies, consuming a single charge per use. Next one is a shotgun called Hellstorm, firing multiple pellets as well shotguns do, and its ability is called Volcano, that traditionally summons a rain of falling fire from the sky, damaging all enemies hit by it. Then, Longshot is Silo's signature weapon, a standard shooting rifle, and its ability is an enhanced version of our Eagle Eye mechanic, and as you use this weapon skill, it will summon a weak spot on all enemies around you in range, but hitting these weak spots will not only deal more damage, but also guarantee you a critical hit. Our next rifle is also a signature weapon, but for Venomous, and is also quite special, as it is a burst rifle, firing multiple shots per attack, and its weapon skill Vivrant's Fury is even more special, as it turns the rifle into an automatic gun for a single magazine with empowered poisonous bullets that stack poison status effect on enemies, dealing damage over time, stacking up to 20 times. Ransom is back to being a standard rifle, with a fairly basic gun weapon skill called Scattershot that acts like a singular shotgun blast in front of you, while also jumping and evading backwards. Finally, we have Tempest, my favorite rifle in the game currently, another very powerful shotgun with a weapon skill called Bulletstorm that will use up all your locked and loaded charges and will fire multiple rapid shotgun blasts based on the number of charges used for massive amounts of burst damage. Those are all the current weapons available at the launch of Early Access of Wayfinder, but remember that more will be added during and with the new seasons, and the list will grow much, much bigger as time goes on. Hope you enjoyed this video listing all the weapons and abilities to potentially help you choose which weapons you are interested in. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more guides, make sure to like and subscribe to stay tuned, as I'm mainly covering Wayfinder going forward and I have tons planned for the game. But that's a wrap for this video everyone, thank you very much for joining, and I'll see you all the next time. Bye bye